And so yeah, whenever you're ready. Cool. Okay. Um, so one of the most impactful things I've done at BC is when the Group Bay program. Um, my junior year, I would have the opportunity to go to the U.S.-Mexico border with an organization called No More Vets, and we were carrying, each carrying like a one gallon like thing of water um, with the intention of like leaving water and like food like in the desert for people that were trying to cross. We did a six mile hike through the desert, it probably only lasted like four hours. All of us were wearing like athletic clothing, we like had sneakers on and stuff, and like I remember it being really, really hard and like I just couldn't imagine like doing that for six days rather than like the six hours that I was doing it. And I think for me, it really stood out because it was a moment where I could really like walk with the people that I was hoping to accompany me like during my experience. And it was a moment of like t like true solidarity for me during a group day. I learned that the UN classifies a migrant as a person that um, has lived outside the country of origin for a year or more. And like personally, I'm like originally from the Philippines and then I grew up in Indonesia for like 16 years and like here. And so like I didn't realize until that moment that I've been like classified as a migrant for my entire life. And so like knowing that immigration and like traveling has been, have been like systems that I've like benefited a lot from. Um, but then like meeting people that really, really needed like those services and weren't able to um, receive them, like that was like really hard for me and like really shifted my perspective back in